Durst the worst? There's the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. Instead of Florida man, we got Florida Bill would ban making white people feel, quote, discomfort about racist history. So a little bit of anti-CRT measures being taken and uh, state Senator Chevron Jones don't like it. Says the bill will prevent Americans from learning the truth of their past. So yeah, he's got a furrowed brow because he may not be able to browbeat white people no mo. Um, so we got this little radio broadcast and a blurb or two about this. We'll check it out. We'll play. Play. Senator Jones, yeah. what worries you most about this law and how it might be applied in classrooms? What worries me the most is us not telling the truth in the truth. American history, uh, mm -hmm. black history at that, uh, and shielding students from the civil rights movement, from slavery, from redlining, and things that happen, uh, and, and to ensure that we don't go back to those times. And if, if we don't teach it, we're bound to go back to those. So that, that's a really interesting concept. Are we on the brink of going back to slavery and redlining it, as, as like these black radicals conceive of it? Like, are we, in, are we, I mean, we're, we've already pretty much turned into like a dystopian nightmare state, like a coof state. But he's not really criticizing that. He's criticizing this supposed potential, uh, yeah, just like reverting back to, what, 1950s civil rights movement struggle. Like, we got to teach about that. We going to go back to that shit. Like, what are you yeah. talking about, dude? So this law says that uh, individuals in schools or businesses should not be made to feel discomfort. I think it's the word they use, or guilty. You shouldn't be bullied for being white. Of, of their race. In this case, it's the white race, right? Right. Correct. Yes. And what is behind it? What's what's What do you think is really behind all this? What's really behind it is there's people who are fed up with white kids being bullied for their race because that's what CRT is. It's like an anti-white sort of... You know, it's, it's just anti-white propaganda that has made its way into pretty much everything nowadays. You know? <laughs> like, schools are no exception. Well, it, it all stems from Donald Trump and his <laughs> rhetoric that he spewed well, year, uh, two years ago uh, when it came to uh, banning critical race theory in, uh, in uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion training. And so because the Republicans uh, in Florida saw how it riled up uh, the base, they continue wow. on, on, on that, in that same fight. It's a non-issue here within the state of Florida. It's a non-issue that's happening across, this, uh, across the country because critical race theory is not even taught. Uh, in our, our in our classes, uh, there are uh, other issues that we need to be dealing with. This old dance—it's not being taught, but don't ban it uh, in, because we in need Florida to tell and, it. And the other uh, ten Lies. states that this type of uh, legislation has been introduced in. And just for people who might not know, critical race theory is—it's a way of thinking about America. It's bullying, like I said, it's bullying white students for their supposed like white privilege, and you need to hang your head in shame because like blacks can't make it in America or something, something, something. They can't achieve in a white system, so therefore you have to, like, unlearn your whiteness and deconstruct your whiteness. And it's cult indoctrination and, um, and psychological abuse of white students. Do you think that's the take that she's going to have? Because history Similar? through the lens of racism and centers on the idea that racism is systemic in systemic nations systems. And, and other nations' institutions. Institutions, and they structures. to maintain the dominance of white people in society, right? That's correct. And it also makes it clear uh, that race is a, is a social, social construct. It's not scientific or anything. I mean, America is one of the only places huh. uh, that, that does things based off of race. It's a lot. Okay, everything he just said was anti-scientific, but um, yeah, that's just fucking bizarre. Wait, what was the last thing she said? Hang on. Places uh, that that are not scientific. Uh, that race is a is a social. 
and they function to maintain the dominance of white people institutional in dominance structure That's correct. hierarchy. And also makes it clear uh, that race <laughs> is a is a social, it's social absolute concept. gobbledygook. It's not scientific or anything. I mean, America is one of the only places uh. Uh, that that does things based off of race. The law it says that um, that true. you should not be made to feel uncomfortable. <coughs> Under this law, could, let's say, for instance, a white student claim that the topic of racism, discussing the racist history of the United States, is making them uncomfortable? And then what happens? What what? The framing, like, as if merely discussions of the concept of racism is what it is, and it's not the fact that it's totally slanted and biased and, like does in fact come across just listening to this little blurb here it just sounds like well it, it straight up is cult indoctrination um i mean yeah and if you're a white student in one of these weirdo fucking new school classrooms where you got to wear a mask you know and adhere to all this crap i mean i can't even imagine how i would function in that environment might happen to the teacher who has run afoul of this law well, well, according to according to the uh, to the bills that are, that's going forth, there's a, a provision that will allow uh, parents to be able to school to sue school districts, uh, which no, again is it's not is not Thanks the way Santa's. that we should uh, be putting forth policies, especially giving uh, parents a blank check uh, to be able to to sue if they feel that their child is uncomfortable. Let's be clear: hey, History, there's nothing comfortable about history there's nothing comfortable about uh black history there's nothing comfortable about uh jewish american history there's nothing comfortable about indigenous uh history there's there's nothing comfortable about it and so it's just a weapon to browbeat a certain group of people to demoralize them so they're easier to control and it's it's easier it's easier to get gibbs out of people that way you know when you just completely deconstruct their history and attack it and say that, well, this is your just medicine because it's colonialism. This is th the way they talk. I mean, they're so uppity about it, and they're so, um, yeah, that's right, why people, this your history. We gonna have to talk about it. it, it it's gonna be uncomfortable. It's like, why don't you go back to... Uh, <laughs> of course, individuals will, will be uncomfortable Let's go back to your mud hut. how these uh, things have happened in the past. But the only way we're going to be able to move forward... You are uncomfortable about the fact that your people make mud huts while my people make skyscrapers. Is we have to have these uncomfortable conversations. That's uncomfortable The bill is called individual freedom. And it says in part that uh, an individual... Uh, does not bear responsibility for actions committed in the past by other members of the same race or sex. An individual should not be made to feel discomfort, guilt, anguish, or any other form of psychological distress on True. account of his or her race. True. Is this law racist? Yes. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Do you want to ex ex expand? He can't browbeat white people for their race anymore, and that's racist. And the way Western man. Absolutely, I go my expansion. Yeah, and, and the reason I did that is because it, it, one would know, especially someone like myself who is an African American male, who who know what critical race theory is, who have been taught critical race theory because I I was taught it in my education master's program. It is speaking about the history of Black America and the laws in America that affected Black Americans. To ah. that has gotten us to this point. So it's professional black people whining studies. Like, he's literally such an uppity Blake. He's paid in America to whine about r black theory. You see this all the time on every university campus. You see these people. You see departments full of these kind of people. <laughs> this guy's an elected official, too. I mean, he's like, a, what is he, a state senator? Yeah. Florida state senator how the fuck did Florida drop the ball any part of Florida drop the ball that hard and elect a guy like this that is so fucking distressing to me is Holy this crap. bill racist on the surface yes Ye it is and I'm not one <laughs> no, to throw the word racist out like that I'm just not but I but when I see it I call it yeah, you're not the one to throw the word racist around, but if white people just are saying, hey, you know, it's there's no educational value to this kind of gobbledygook, it's radical lefty 
claptrap and it's bullying and singling out one group of people based on their race. Can we kind of cut it out? Can we stop allocating resources for your uppity ass to make like what probably six figures? I it just blows my mind that you know we're allocating resources that way in a country like this. Cut out because it's facts and it's true truth towards it. That's facts. Because when you create policies that's based on whitewashing history, history of a group of people who have been oppressed in this country for over 400 years, but yet still you don't <laughs> want to teach the truth behind it. 400? That is racist on its surface. It's interesting with the uh, government. Okay, so pause really quick there. The notion that we don't constantly whinge about, you know, Black History Month. I mean, dude, Black History is so, I, I hate to say it, it's just, a minimal contribution to the United States and Western, Western, uh, you know, hemisphere in general. It's just not that big of a deal, dude. The reason that people don't want to allocate, I mean, people kind of have to drag their feet in allocating like black history bullshit is because it's just that, like, it's not that pertinent to Western society. You know what I mean? That's why it's not whitewashing to have white, uh, Eurocentric history in a white founded Western society. Um, and he, a lot of Blake's probably feel kind of like out of place because of that ever so slightly. But the thing is, is hucksters like this capitalize on that with CRT and with all that stuff. Um, and it's a very corrupt kind of thing. And uh, it's very Governor slimy. Ron DeSantis, uh, Florida's governor, says that this law. He says it's about combating racism, and he even quotes Martin Luther King Jr. See, that's and the mistake right said, there. You think about what MLK stood for. He said he didn't want people judged on the color of their skin, but on the content of their character. And that's why this law, he says, is not racist, but against racism. What do you say to Governor DeSantis? I tell Governor DeSantis to go look at uh, Martin Luther King's speech when he was in college, and then come back and talk to me about what the gov- what, what Martin Luther King spoke about in his his uh, "I Have a Dream" speech. So conservatives need to stop framing it through the lens of anti-racism because that's a leftist axiom and it's an anti-white and anti-American axiom uh, lens, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, you, you need to stop arguing on their terms. You need to stop arguing about what. MLK would have wanted. Uh, that's always an uphill losing battle. That's always, um, you know, giving them the high ground in every argument. Um, you should sort of just like reject what old communist rabble rousers had to say. I mean, like, dude, MLK was basically just the more optics friendly or optics concerned side of Malcolm X. It was the same radical sort of globalist bullshit claptrap anyway um just packaged in a more friendly uh facade for just idiot white boomers to fucking eat up i don't know it's just that's what it is you know at the end of the day there are two different speeches everyone's they want to quote was convenient and yeah mlk was way more radical yeah i just got to reemphasize that and i think dude dude would agree with me um the state senator this black what's his name again Chevron, Chevron Jones, you know what I'm saying? I think he would agree with me that uh, MLK was way the hell more radical than conservatives want you to believe. They want you to believe that he was like a hardcore conservative. Um, he was a degenerate lefty wacko, dude. <laughs> I mean, but they don't want to quote with challenges. Rouser, with challenges like this guy. Yeah. Do you think that Governor DeSantis is racist? I think the governor's policies are. And why do you think why do you think they're doing this? What is behind this? Because he gets paid every time he calls something individual racist. freedom law, so called. The governor is he has a national agenda that he's pushing in Florida to show nationally that he is the one who is carrying the, the water for the Republican Party. That's why the governor is doing this. And who do you think this law will be popular with? His base. And that's what this is about. This is politics, then. Yes, it is. All politics. It's, it's always, it has always been about politics. Senator Jones, we'll leave it there, and I appreciate speaking with you. Thank you. I appreciate talking to you. Yeah, total race huckster. Uh, I had no idea that, I guess, regional or lo- whatever local politics 
in Florida would produce a figure like this, but I guess, you know, this day and age, I mean, goddamn, the framing, like, that the rejection of critical race theory is just, oh, well, you just don't want to hear about y'all history. Well, slavery, 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 redlining, redlining, redlining all day. I mean, that's a really biased and incomplete and hyper zoomed in on, like, the uppity, radical, black leftist experience. I mean, that's that's not really teaching history. Again, that's just browbeating white students for money and power. Um, and it's really corrupt and sleazy. But that's all I got to say about that.